Okay, so in today's video, we're going to have a look at multiplying decimals. Uh, so grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we will have a go at a few questions. It's quite a short video today, so let's have a look at this one. Work out 2.6 times 3.4. Now, what we're actually going to do is we're actually just going to remove the decimal here. So I'm going to hop this decimal out of 2.6. That's not drawn that in very well. Let's have a look at doing that again. Hop the decimal out of 2.6, which makes it 26. And we'll hop the decimal out of 3.4 making it 34. So technically what we've done there is we've multiplied both these numbers by 10. We've multiplied 2.6 by 10 to make it 26, and we've multiplied 3.4 by 10 to make it 34. And we're gonna do this sum here, 26 times 34. And at the end, we'll do the reverse of that, so we'll divide by both those tens, we'll hop the decimal back in. Now I'm gonna use a different method of multiplication here. I'm gonna use the lattice method. You can use column, you can use grid, you can use whatever method you like, but I'm just gonna opt for using the lattice method. So making a little lattice here and we're going to do 26 times 34 okay so let's fill this in and see what we get so 2 times 3 for this top left box gives us 6 6 times 3 gives us 18 onto the bottom 2 times 4 gives us 8 and 6 times 4 gives us 24 and add adding these up from the right to the left so 4 we've got 8, 8 and 2 that's 16, 17, 18 so 8 carry the 1 and then 6, 1 makes 7, plus that extra 1 makes 8, and the 0 in the end there. So our final number, reading from left to right, 0, 8, 8, 4, so 884. Okay, so finishing this off, because it was 2.6 and 3.4, so up here there was two place value hops that we've done there. We've hopped out twice, so I'm just going to hop back in twice, and we get 8.84. So then just rewriting that nice and neat, 8.84 is our final answer. A little good tip when you're practicing these is you can always check it on a calculator just to make sure that you've done it right, but that should always work for you there following that process. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, 21.3 times 8.5. It's gonna do the same process here. Let's take a decimal out of this one to make it 213, and a decimal out of 8.5 to make it 85. So again, two hops there that we need to put back in at the end. Let's make a little grid for this one then, so. 213, so I'm going to have to have three digits. I'm going to put those along the top, and I've got two down the side. So, again, setting that up. So, 213 and 85. Let's go about multiplying these. So, 2 times 8 is 16, 1 times 8 is 8, 3 times 8 is 24. On to the bottom, 2 times 5 is 10, 1 times 5 is 5, and 3 times 5 is 15. And adding these up from right to left, so 5, we've got 10 there, so carry the 1. 10 plus the 1 is 11, carry the 1. 7, 8, and 1 there. Right, so we've got 1, 8, 1, 0, 5. So 1, 8, 1, 0, 5. And then we've got to put two hops back in, two place values there back in. So 1, 2 gets us 181.05. And a good little tip here, if we were to sort of round these numbers at the top here, so let's imagine we do a little estimate. 21.3 is around 20, 8.5 would round to 9, and if we did 20 times 9, we'd get 180. So we know our number down there is in the right ballpark, obviously this is an estimate, but it allows us just to make sure we know that we've put that decimal back in a roundabout the right place, because if we're looking for an answer around about 180, 181.05 there. Obviously looks looks pretty good to us. So let's have a look at one more. Okay, so 0 0.23 times 4.56. So we've got quite a lot of hops here, quite a lot of uh, decimal movements in this in this initial stage. So we've got to hop that out twice to make it 23. And we'd have to hop this out twice as well to make it 456. So we've got a similar grid, a similar lattice to what we did on the last one. We're going to have three numbers along the top or down the side, it's up to you and two down the side, so let's have a look, 456 times 23. Okay, there we go, let's draw these in. So four times two is eight, five times two is 10, six times two is 12, and to the bottom row, four times three is 12, five times three is 15, and six times three is 18. Okay, so adding these all up from right to left, we've got eight, We've got five, six, seven, eight again. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. So zero, carry the one, and then zero and one makes one. 
So read them there from left to right. 10488, 10488. And we need to hop that decimal back in. How many jumps was it up there? That was four jumps. So one, two, three, four puts it there. So that's 1.0488. Okay, and there's your final answer. All right, here's some for you to have a go at. So pause the video there, have a go, and I'll go over them in a sec. Okay, so answers for these. I've not got enough room to draw the little grids in here and you might be using a different method, so I'm just gonna write the answers for you. So for the first one here, we get 61.32, okay? Taking two decimals out there and hopping two back in at the end. For the next one, 19.3 times 7.2, that equals 138.96. Again, we would have taken two decimals out at the start and hopped those two back in at the end there. On to the third one, we've got four jumps on this one. So we're gonna be doing 54 times 321 and hopping back in four decimals. So 0 0.54 times 3.21 is 1.7334 with our four jumps hop back in there. And the last one here, we'll be doing 23 times 467 and hopping them back in. So 2.3 times 4.67 equals 10.741. Okay, so we've got our four answers there. A uh, good little hint for these is that it's quite easy just to make up your own. If you just pick any two decimals, write it down, work it out, and then double check it on your calculator just to make sure that you've got that right and you've got those the, uh, the decimal put into the right place. Okay, that's it for today. Quite a quick short one. Again, if you like this, if you enjoyed it, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.